Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it like every time you do. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Today, we are gonna be making an amazing recipe, one that I found on TikTok, and I'm excited to show it to you right there. Now, if you're excited about making these, I'm excited about sharing them with you. Because why? Mi cocina is tu cocina. Just follow me and I'll show you how. We're gonna start with three big potatoes because not only am I gonna make this 15 hour potato, but I'm gonna make some in this pot, but I'm gonna make some all gratin for later in lunch. We're gonna have some garlic. We have our mandolin. And it's not something that you play like this. We've got salt, we have some milk. We've got some milk, organic whole milk. And we have a bowl in which I'm gonna put the milk and the potatoes later. Let's go ahead and peel these huge potatoes. Like monster potatoes. And just like that, you finish off three potatoes. Done. Two cups of whole organic milk. On the mandolin that I have, I am using the smallest setting, and that is super important. Then, with our potato, I'm going to start cutting them. Just to give you an idea, that is how thin these potato slices are. Almost potato chip slice thickness. You gotta be careful on the mandolin because the harder you push on the mandolin, the thicker the slices will be as well. So you have to maintain an even pressure on your mandolin when you're using it. Once you got it done, you're gonna make sure that your potatoes that are now super, super thin, as you can see, are nice and coated with all this white stuff, milk. Next steps, let's fill up this pan. I'm going to use some avocado cooking oil to line it. Well, that's good enough, too much than I needed. I'm gonna put this parchment paper at the bottom and kind of push it into the corners. The oil will help keep the paper against the edges. And now we are going to make a nice bed of these potatoes. Watch. Something additional that you should do is put butter between every layer of your potatoes. It adds an extra amount of fat that is needed to cook things all the way through. And a dash of salt in the next layer. Definitely not a uh, short process. You have to put these into the pot. You have to put butter on them. You put a little bit of salt every other layer. Um, I know some people put you know, rosemary or thyme also. I'm just gonna go for the regular potato. And this takes approximately, as long as you don't get any phone calls. I've gotten multiple phone calls. That has uh, put a damper and or slowed the process down. Now this is almost finished and we're gonna pop this in to an oven that is already preheated to 300 degrees. All right, so the last layer. Check and see if the potatoes are ready. If they are ready, the knife will go in smoothly without resistance. Beautiful, that's exactly what we want. Now we're gonna let it cool and then put it in the refrigerator. All right, so I weighed down my potatoes inside that little uh, bread pan with some soup cans and I left it in the refrigerator for about uh, 12 to 13 hours. After that, you just pull it out, flip it over, and then you're going to have to separate the, uh, the potatoes from the pan. Then pull the potatoes out. It's gonna be like a log, and it's gonna be a little messy on the side, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your knife and cut those messy edges off. So after you cut off the edges to make it nice and beautiful, go ahead and cut slices that are about one inch thick. Now I went ahead and put the whole slice into this hot skillet with some butter and oil to toast them up. That was fine, but I found that if you cut them into little logs, one inch by one inch by whatever the depth of your pan logs, it comes out so much better because when they're these thick slices like this, it's kind of hard to cook properly without charring the outside. This is what I'm talking about. About one inch by one inch little logs. 
these little creations are so beautiful. And as they're cooking, it just fills the kitchen with this French fry kind of smell, but it's not the deep fried smell. It's just French fries, yum. And this is how I plated them with a little chicken thigh on the side without the bone, but crispy skin. It is the bomb, especially with some sour cream. That's right, that's right. It takes two hours of cooking, all that cutting, and then you put it into the refrigerator for about 15, uh, 13, 12 to 13 hours. So let's look at what we have here. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? So, mm, mm, it's delicious. I have to say, the larger pieces, like these, it's kind of hard to, to use, right, to pick up. And then they fall apart a little bit. Mm. But very tasty. Mm. Especially with the sour cream. Oh, mm. It's just falling apart. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that in there. Cleaning my fingers. That is so ungentlemanly. I am so excited that I made these, and I know my family's gonna like them too. Hopefully you will enjoy them as much as mine does. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and share. Give me a comment. What do you like to make with potatoes? I've been experimenting a lot with potatoes, and I can't wait to bring you my next recipe, again, with more potatoes. Why not? All right, I'll talk to you later, and until next time, mi cocina es tu cocina. Bye-bye.